Hey everyone! This video is a response to requests we received about fallen angels. So we're just sharing some of what we know. This is not meant to be a comprehensive guide or anything like that. We assume you already know the basics, so this is going to focus more on the nature and types of fallen angels that work for us as mostly free-to-play players. So for nature, four to look out for is Brave, which boosts Attack, Cautious, which boosts HP, Staunch, which boosts Defense, and Resolute, which boosts Attack Speed. So these are the four natures that we'll be talking about in this video. The rest you can pretty much ignore. <laughs> As for types, there are two special ones. One is Ukemochi and Hans, this one. And the other is Zuchigumo, this one. So these two are special because they have higher overall stats compared to the other Purple Fallen Angels. For example, for Ukemochi and Hans, you can see that his Purple HP stat at 2137 is even higher than the regular Ukemochi's Go HP stat at 1904, and they're both plus 10. Yep, so save these two special ones for your Cautious and Resolute Fallen Angels. If you need Brave, use any of the other Fallen Angels. So, this video will be split into two parts, Early Game and Late Game. We're splitting them because different natures of Fallen Angels are better for different stages of the game. And we'll be using two of our accounts as examples. For early game, we'll be using our Japan account, which is this one, our, where we are currently on. And it's currently at level 66, just over two months old. And we've used a couple of monthly cards on it, but otherwise we're not like heavy spenders or anything. So early game, the theme we have here is one cautious and four braves. For nature of fallen angels. One cautious, four braves. That's the first five that you see over here. These are our four brave ones and our cautious. So for cautious fallen angel, this is for the tank. And we have Ukimochi and Hans because his HP stats are significantly higher as compared to his attack, etc. And Another reason for having Ukemochi and Hans is because his sticks preferred Fallen Angel, which will give him an extra 10% more when equipped on stick. Yep, and oh, just to note that for the Japan server, the max currently is plus 10. We don't get the feature that upgrades it beyond that yet. So, yep, it's just maximum of plus 10% for when you equip on a foot soul's preferred fallen angel. Yep, and stick because stick is a good tank for free to play players. Well, good as in he's easy to ascend, can get his shards easily from delivery, so it's fairly easy to get him to 5 star. And for cautious fallen angel, the goal is 4 HP goal stats. We're getting there with 4. Now, oh, now ours is currently at all purple because we're focusing on our attack fallen angels for the pizza event which was recently just over. And other than 4 HP, sometimes you also can have 1 to 2 defense together with HP. So bear in mind the difference is that defense only helps with reducing normal attacks, not skills. So there may be cases where bosses spam normal attacks such as Ukemochi Enhance and Zuchigumo you know when they go pa 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 during a fight yeah they spam normal attacks or it could be good if your tank's defense stat is on the lower side and there may also be stages such as during PvP or Sky Showdown where you don't get to use cooking talent it'll be easier for your healer to recover the damage when equipping defense and states of HP. But for us, for general purposes, we prefer 4 HP, and that's what we have. 
Oh, you might be wondering why it's um all purple. It's well, the aim of course is for gold, HP stat, but we're focusing on attack stats or attack fallen angels for um the Pisa event, which require more of the DPS side, and our tank was ignored for all for the Pisa event. All for pizza, yeah. So yeah, our brave fallen angels are, yeah. This is a Brave Fallen Angel with the final goal of 4 attack stats. 4 goal attack, yeah. So, which Fallen Angel to use for Brave? We want 4 Brave Fallen Angels for our early game team, right? Well, pretty much anything that is not Ukemochi Enhanced or Zuchigomo. Because these two you will want to save for Cautious or Resolute. So, anything else is fine. Mm, if you have a main theme, it would be good of course to use the preferred Fallen Angel of your main teams, DPS Foot Souls. So for example, if Bamboo Rice is um, your main, you can give him Queen Conch or Inugami for Cocktail. We aren't using um, yeah, Queen Conch on Bamboo Rice because um, we, we kind of change a lot, switch the character members of our main team so we didn't get their preferred fallen angels we go by which are the because the star the ascend the star rarities change around so we just go by that anyway the aim is to get them to plus 10 for your four brave fallen angels and they will still oh, the high merch will actually help still in the D, in a dps event like the pizza event, even if you lose out on the 10% additional stat because it's not a preferred Fallen Angel. So the eventual goal is 4 attack, but if you have any purple or gold HP, just keep them because they'll, they'll still be useful. And you'll find that your foot soles when starting out, they may not be able to survive especially like AOE attacks at low star levels and the additional HP stat will definitely benefit them. So for us if we do get a gold or even a purple HP when starting out, we keep them and we just slowly smelt them out for the gold attack ones. And of course if you get something that has um, like this one with like three goal and one three goal HP and one goal attack. You can give it to your healer because yeah, you can, that will help your healer to survive as well. And the attack will also help to boost normal heal amount by a little bit. So eventually, though, you'll want to smelt out the HP for attack. Yeah. And if you're wondering why Pisa didn't get his preferred Fallen Angel, well, his one of the reasons is that even though Pisa is a staple on our team, and yeah, he's definitely, I mean, he's a 5 star UR, so he has a, his spot on our main team. But we didn't give him his preferred Fallen Angel because that is Ukemochi and Hans, and we are saving Ukemochi and Hans for. Resolute. So that is where we'll go into talk about late game. Also keep a copy of at least one staunch and four resolute fallen angels. Staunch can be anyone and for resolute, preferably Ukemochi and Hans or Juchikumo. For late game. And we'll be continuing on late game on our Taiwan accounts as an example. And now for late game. So your early game team of 4 Braves and 1 Cautious can get you pretty far, but later in the game, the meta is attack speed. That is Resolute Fallen Angels. And if you're thinking, wait what? Attack speed? I have a Fallen Angel with attack speed and it barely makes a difference. Well, that just means that your attack speed isn't high enough yet. To show you what we mean by difference, we'll be showing you 3 picking ducks. This picking duck. So watch the picking duck. The 
first picking duck you'll see is your normal picking duck with no attack speed for an angel equip. It's just 7k undisturbed base speed. And if you're wondering when exactly you'll see a difference in attack animation, for an attacking foot so 20,000 speed is when it starts to make a visible difference. Well, there is some difference before that, but it has a less obvious effect on battle outcome. So this is your normal picking duck, attacking at very normal speed. Next, we are going to show my friend's picking duck. And my friend's picking duck. Oh, let me just change to stick instead, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so my friend's picking duck. As you can see, it's a plus 11 Resolute Zuchigumo with all go attack speed stats. And let's see the difference. Watch the change in attack animation. So he's taking that now. Look at him go! He's so much faster now, eh? So yeah, you can now get double attack speed. A double attack when you use to do only one. And this is especially good for, for um, foot souls to still do unit things like silence, like picking that, or dispel, things like that. Yeah, watch him go. And the last one we are showing is actually a level 100 plus player that we came across. Let me just change to that. So this is the last picking duck. Watch that insane attack speed. He's practically spasming. And yeah, it's probably close or uh, uh, oh, probably above the max attack speed of 26,000. When we say max is just that after that there's no there's no difference. So when exactly do you start late game? Well, there's no hard definition, but if you're picking duck who has the highest base speed stat in the game, is approaching 3 star, it's best to start preparing a resolute a plus 10 or higher fallen angel for him. So what we've shown so far is for attacking foot souls. For healing foot souls, the difference starts showing around 12,000 attack speed if you've invested in the cooking talent is this one. This one, it increases the healing of the healing frequency of the foot soul. But yes. <laughs> yeah, I added a little, but it's yeah, getting more and more expensive to add. Like at 2, I'm already at 73,000 points for the next the next level so yeah it's a uh, expensive cooking talent yeah and another cooking talent that's useful for adding speed on attack is this one so this one actually increases the attack speed of all food souls but yeah, you have to unlock like other things before finally getting there and it's even more expensive as well. I mean, it's also expensive. Ah uh, yeah, my friend has unlocked it and the last note is about 300,000. That's expensive. Oh, the fifth level of this cooking talent is 300,000. Ah, expensive. So you can do this with any foot soul with high enough base speed and or if your fallen angel has high enough speed. For example, back to Pizza from our Japan account, 
at 5 star pizza has 4000 attack speed and we are aiming to build a plus 10 resolute ukemochi enhance for him so with the plus 10% as his preferred fallen angel hopefully he can start using it at around plus 10 or plus 11 so for now he's using a non ukemochi enhanced brave and that's good enough for him for now and now so now that you have heard the wonders of attack speed I have to share that the meta may change again. Yes, because the new feature similar to Awakening in other games was introduced on the China server and foot souls can get new abilities. Notably, there's Cloud T who grants the whole team immunity against silence and lighting charm and also can debuff attack speed. Yeah, some of these updates may really be game changers. And before we go, a brief note on staunch fallen angels which increase defense. So what we mentioned about keeping a copy of staunch fallen angels, its purpose is really only for bosses who causes damage by the percentage of max HP. So these are usually disaster bosses. So in these cases, your cautious fallen angel shouldn't be used for the tank. Instead, use a staunch fallen angel. So if you if you want to do well for disaster, it's best to have a staunch fallen angel or go defense. And if you have a dedicated tank for the boss, choose the fallen angel that's preferred for the tank. Or else, just anyone that's easy to get to plus ten. If you plan to fuse it, would do. And that's about all for now. Hope you found this useful and. These are just some things we know, there may be stuff we don't know yet too, so do feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching! See you next time!